Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jim Fahad. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful text stroke slide animation using Elementor Page Builder. You can use this text stroke slide animation with any heading widget on your website. So without further ado, let's now go inside Elementor Page Builder and let's create this beautiful and unique text stroke slide animation. Alright, so we are now inside Elementor Page Builder. So let's first take a section. I'm clicking this plus icon and taking a single column structure. Let's now give it a minimum height and I'm setting it to 100 VH. Let's now give it a background color. So from here background type, I'm selecting a solid color. Let's select this dark blue color as our background color. Alright, let's now add a heading widget. So from here, I'm just dragging a heading widget inside here. Okay, as we cannot see the text properly. So first of all, I'm changing its color from under style tab. So let's change the text color to white color for the moment. All right, let's now go back inside content. So from here, first of all, I'm changing this text to Jim Fahad Digital. And let's make the alignment to centered. Now let's do a bit of styling from here. So I'm going inside typography. First here font size, I'm making it 86 pixel. From here font weight, let's set it to 700. And also it's very important, you need to select the transform from here. No matter if you want to select the uppercase, lowercase, capitalize, make sure you're selecting the transform from here. So I'm setting it to uppercase. All right, actually our all markup is done here and rest of the thing we need to do using custom CSS. So let's now go under advanced tab and if we scroll down here we will find the custom CSS option. So let's now expand the custom CSS. By the way, you will get the custom CSS option only on Elementor Pro. I will put the Elementor Pro purchase link in the description. If you don't have already Elementor Pro, you can get Elementor Pro from the link in the description. Alright, now inside this custom CSS, I will be writing some custom CSS code. But no worries because I already have written this code for you. You just need to go to jimfahaddigital.com. I will put this page's link in the description as well. So from that page, if you scroll down a bit here, you can see text stroke animation CSS. Actually, it's a quite few lines of CSS, but actually you don't need to understand all of these lines if you're not comfortable with CSS. Because if you have a look, I have made all the values, at least all the changeable values to a variable and put the variables inside this root. So from inside root, you can change any of the values of the variables. Okay, let's not just make it complex. I'm just copying this whole CSS snippet from this page. So let's copy it and let's now go inside Elementor Page Builder. Inside the custom CSS, I'm pasting the CSS snippet here. And boom, here we go. But first of all, if you want to change the default white color of the text, you know, you can do that from here under the style tab. So let's go under style tab. And from here is the text color and we have set it to white. And that's why we can see the initial color to white color. If you want, you can change it from here to any other color like red or anything. But you know, I just want to make the initial color to a transparent color. So I'm just dragging the bottom bar to the very left here like this. All right, let's now go under advanced tab again and let's now open the custom CSS option from here again. Now remember here the first thing you can see here my text and inside the quotation you can see here Jim Fahad digital. So your text of course will be different and make sure the text you have put inside the heading widget that should be matched with this text. So you just need to go under content tab. You just need to copy your main text. Then go under advanced tab again, expand the custom CSS option and you need to paste the exact text within this quotation mark here. Then you can change the text color. So you already have seen how to change the initial color, the white color. We have changed that from under the style tab. But if you want to change this green text color and also this uh, green stroke color, you can change that from here text color. Just I'm giving you the example instead of this color. If you put here hash FFF FFF you can see now the stroke color and the animating color is now white but I just want to go back to the initial color I have set that's the green color 
and from here you can change the stroke pixel by default i set it to 2 pixel but if you want to make it let's say 5 pixel you see right now the stroke is 5 pixel also this bar became 5 pixel but instead of 5 i'm making it to 2 pixel and here's the last thing here you can see the animation duration so i have set it to 6 second if you want to make the duration more longer you can make it let's say 10 second so the whole animation will take 10 seconds from start to the finishing point and also if you want to make the duration faster then instead of 10 you can set it to 2 so now the whole animation is happening within 2 seconds but instead of 2 seconds i'm making it 6 seconds all right so when you are happy with this just click here on this green update button to save your work I hope you have learned something new today and if you like it please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel. Also press on that bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever I will upload a new video on this YouTube channel. Also if you want me to help you on your WordPress project or Elementor project then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com. I will try my best to help you personally. Once again, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I will see you on the next video. For now, bye-bye.